We all showed up today at the Vintage Day. Yes, yes. And so this is just uh, one of the days of the Fashion Week as well too. So this yes. is my first Fashion Week here in the desert. All right, so we are at Very Vintage Market. This is Jen. Hello, hi everyone. With Muse. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna take you on a little tour later, but this is beautiful stuff. This is red carpet material. I actually had a dress on the Oscars red carpet. One of my clients wore a vintage gown from my collection at the red carpet, and it was incredible. So what are you wearing? Um, so this is a vintage, I'd say late '60s, early '70s jumpsuit, and um, I just love it because it's like a whole look. And this is such a cool. It's color block. So this is two fabrics here that yeah. somebody sewn here on the edge. And it has the little tie, and it's it's it spin. very put together, but also the color. I just love the pink, hot pink. It's very Palm Springs. Everything I see on your racks is, is just oh, amazing and thank beautiful. Thank you so much. I am here with Ebony, and this is her collection here. What is your collection called? So it, it's actually uh, Time Capsule Vintage, that's my business. Um, but my collection, I really haven't thought of a name, but since we're gonna do it right on the spot, I'm just gonna call her The Fabulous Nomad. So that's what <laughs> the name of the collection is. All right, all right, so The Fabulous Nomad. So you have a lot of different inspirations and different textures as well. So when you're designing and you're putting together your picks for your boutique, what are some of the things that you're looking out for? So the things that I really um, hone in on when I'm searching for pieces for my collection is mostly texture, color, print, and also just uniqueness. I just like my woman to be someone who's gonna stand out and not be someone who would have a piece on that someone else could potentially buy somewhere else. So I wanna create um, a collection for my customers that's just more um, one of a kind. Okay, yeah. I love that. So yeah. I do see a lot of diversity, not only in your designs that you have here, mm -hmm. but also some of the women that you were telling me that you pull inspiration from as Absolutely. well too. So what is it like to be a woman of color in this industry and designing and really thriving too? Yeah, so, you know, I'm just really fortunate that I'm able to represent, you know, all of the chocolate girls out there that look like <laughs> me, um, that can wear vintage and actually, you know, curate and, um, you know, bring vintage to the masses. And for me, I just, you know, it's just a way to bring out and just to show people just the beautiful textures and textiles from around the world. Um, I'm really drawn to, you know, um, tribal prints and, and silks and, and, and linens things that are made, artisan made also. So just bringing that stuff just to the forefront, just to kind of highlight some of those beautiful and talented women um, that I'm inspired by. So what's happening here today, there are what, 10? About a dozen models. She's gonna choose outfits that, that she feels best fits her. Yes. So we're just basically piecing things together, seeing what works, you know, having fun with it. Francesca. Friends. Yes. What are you wearing today? <laughs> today I'm wearing Julia. Um, it's very vintage. I love it. Very comfortable. And yeah. Right? I love these. Yeah. It's like, it's oh. so much shape and everything. It's like perfect for the disco era. Gorgeous. I've all over today, I've been seeing everyone rock these and I don't even know what they're called, but these like hat earrings basically. Yeah, you know? I think it's the, the new in for the summer. Right? Yeah. You get all the look without the wave. I am here with the celebrity of designers. This is Trina Turk. Hi, I'm Trina. I mean, it started the company in 1995. It was women's wear only at first. We opened the Palm Springs store, which was our first store, and we now consider it our flagship store in 2002. And that's when we started doing the men's wear. When I talk about Palm Springs and I talk about um, Oftentimes people visiting, whether they're snowbirds or, or just visitors in general, uh, the question is what to wear. I think that in the desert, I tend to want to wear color much more than when I'm in LA or New York or wherever. I mean, I do wear a lot of black, but in Palm Springs, I just don't really feel like wearing black. Like right. I feel like the climate and the landscape just makes you want to wear color. 
you know, I guess it's also about optimism. Okay. Because there's something optimistic about being out here in the desert. And so color, print, and optimism is sort of what Trina Turk that. and Mr. Turk are about. I love that. Yeah. And for the women um, that are visiting Palm Springs, I, I mean, you're wearing it beautifully. Yeah, I mean, caftans are definitely one of our best sellers. And we do, this one is called the Theodora caftan, and we do it in different prints every season. Okay. Um, you know, sort of has become a signature item for us with the, the border and, um, you know, whatever the print is that's designed specifically for this garment. If, if there's a store you're going to visit while you're visiting Palm Springs, if there's a, a store you're going to stop by maybe to pick up an outfit for dinner, this is the place to go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm making you blush a little bit. <laughs> Thank you.